Hi guys, this is Kier and I'm back with another video. Now before we actually get into the actual video, I just want to thank all of you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for helping me reach my goal of 100 subscribers. Um, I'm actually at 108 subscribers right now, which really shows your support to this channel. So thank you very much for subscribing and watching all my videos. Now the reason I don't seem so excited about reaching this amazing milestone is not because I don't really care about I'm um, reaching 100 subscribers. I really do. I was freaking out when I got 100 subscribers, but it's because of uh, what happened last night. In this video, I will not be talking about my thoughts on the Eric Carlson trade. I'm sure you guys have already heard enough of that. Um, everyone hates it. Carlson is going to play good in San Jose. Ottawa lost the trade. But I will be talking to you about four possible outcomes for this upcoming auto season. Um, so yeah, here we go. So the first outcome I can already see for the Ottawa Senators this season, unfortunately, as Eugene Melnick already stated, is a youth movement, meaning that there will be a lot of key players leaving the Senators team and a lot of older players leaving the Senators team. So which players do I think would be leaving the Senators team and actually could be leaving the Senators team? In reality, um, starting off the list and in chronological order, I have Bobby Ryan leaving the team. He has a massive contract, $7 million for the next, what, three, four years. And uh, he doesn't seem to be in his prime anymore, so trade him away. Um, I also see the Ottawa Senators trading away Matt Duchesne. Now, I think this is very controversial, but I mean, if they have already traded away all of their good players in the last year and have traded Eric Carlson just yesterday, I definitely can see Matt Duchesne leaving the team um, after a disastrous season and wanting to play for a playoff team. So I can see Matt Duchesne leaving the Senators team this year, so don't uh, stay too close to him. I can see then... Um, the Senators trading Mikael Bodker as well to, who knows, a, a rebuilding team, a contending team. I don't know, but they are going to get some youth for Mikael Bodker. Next, we have at the trade de deadline, Marion Gabrick, who will sign with a NHL team that will need him in the playoffs. So I can see Marion Gabrick going and leaving the team to play with a playoff team and getting Ottawa a lot of youth. Um, and finally, at the end of the season, I can see the Ottawa Senators trading Mark Stone. Um, Mark Stone really has nothing to play with in Ottawa. He has Matt Duchesne, who would be gone. Eric Carlson is obviously gone, as you already know. Um, and pretty much everybody who he would have played with would be gone, and he wouldn't have a contract with uh, Ottawa anymore, and I seriously don't think anyone would want to stay in Ottawa. So I could see if all of those four players are gone, or even if Matt Duchesne is gone, Mark Stone could be gone as well. So my next possible outcome is kind of the same to the last one. You trade Bobby Ryan, you trade Marion Gabrick, um, you trade Matt Duchesne and Mark Stone because they want to get out of Ottawa as soon as possible to play on actually good teams. However, you have Craig Anderson who actually plays better just like, he, um, just like he usually does on his second year. As you already know, Craig Anderson is a very um, unreliable goalie because he plays good one year, he plays bad the next year, he plays good one year, he plays good the next, bad uh, the next year. So he's really someone who you can't like get too attached to as well. So hopefully um, this is his good year. Um, so if he plays his good year, then Ottawa could have a slightly better season than um, what they just had and things could slightly brighten up in Ottawa. And um, some more good news for Ottawa could be if their youth plays very good. For example, you bring in Drake Batherson, you bring in um, Logan Brown, Colin White, they put up some points, you put them on the second, third, fourth line. And they bring you, what, 20, 30, 40, even 50 points for the team um, because all of the actual, like, star players are gone. So with this whole youth uh, movement, um, you trade away some of the older players, get in the youth. The youth actually plays good and the goalie actually plays good as well. So making the Senators season not as bad as predicted. So the next possible outcome I can see is, um, as I mentioned before, you trade Bobby Ryan. He's too old. Um and his contract sucks, you trade uh, Gabrick, he's too old, his contract sucks, you re-sign Matt Duchesne, and you sign Mark Stone, um, so that would make your offense a little better than you would expect, um, and then you would have Anderson that plays better this year, 
And last year, if you have him in the range of, what, 9, 10, 9, 15 save percentage and uh, 2.8 goals against per average, um, that could be really good for the Senators. They could really improve with their season. And uh, Mike Condon will have to be better as well. And then you have the youth movement that comes in. So the youth actually play well, as I mentioned before. Tchuk plays better. Colin plays better. Logan Brown plays better. You have all these um, youth um, prospects who are actually making the NHL and making an impact on the team. And then here comes the interesting part. I say you should trade some of those key prospects and some NHL players to get an NHL star. Now, not someone like Eric Carlson who we just traded away, but someone like, I don't know, Jeff Skinner, Evgeny Kuznetsov, someone in that kind of range, Edward Vlasic, people like that. So you'd have to trade away people, uh, players like uh, Mikhail Bodker, Magnus Payarvi, some key prospects like Philip Schlafik or um, Drake Batherson, players like that to get that um, NHL star. And so this is the best possible outcome I could find for the Ottawa Senators. I mean, there's not really much to work from, and then you can't really transform your team in one year. Um, I know the Colorado Avalanche did that last year, but for, with Ottawa, it's a lot more complicated. So here's what I think. You trade Bobby Ryan, you trade Marion Gavrick, you re-sign Matt Duchesne and Mark Stone. I mean, you already got money from the Eric Carlson deal. Um, you Anderson plays a lot better. Mike Condon plays a lot better. Um, the youth plays a lot better in Ottawa, as I already mentioned like three times before. Um, you get an NHL star on defense to help your defensive core. Your offense is getting a little bit better. And you get a first round pick by trading away one of your, no, a couple of your players. So a couple of defensemen, a couple of uh, offensive players, a couple of prospects um, where you acquire this first round pick or you acquire this uh, NHL star or you can get them both. And I think really what would surprise everybody and would be a complete fulfillment of, an, of the season next year is if the Ottawa Senators make the playoffs. I know this will never happen in a million years. The Ottawa Senators are 1,500 miles away from making the playoffs. They will never get anywhere close to making the playoffs next year. But if um, for some reason Ottawa's plans just go completely in the right direction next year, maybe, just maybe they could make the playoffs if literally every single step of the way is perfect for the Ottawa Senators, if there's no in injuries, if nothing bad happens next year, then maybe, just maybe by doing following this plan, the Ottawa Senators could make the playoffs. That would be just a dream come true, and that would be the best possible outcome I could ever think of for next year's Ottawa Senators, who will be in the bottom of the NHL for the next couple of years. So thank you again for watching that video. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next week for another video.